Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I am your host, Wes Troop, and baby, 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 thank you everybody for the wonderful birthday that I had this past week. Thank you for all your B-Day wishes on Facebook and Twitter, and all the celebrities on Twitter who tweeted me, happy birthday. One will be the babe of the week, and you'll see who later on. Uh, but, you know, how we do it at the A-list, there was a huge, huge celebration baby this year. Will Smith took his oversized trailer and threw the party in there. We fit 800 people inside this trailer, and we turned up the heat. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, sorry, Miami. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we did a whole shitload of stuff. There was booze, there was strippers, somebody even brought a couple hookers in there. I think it was a cop, actually. You know, it was nuts. You know, uh, it was all going great. You know, Kesha sang happy birthday to me, and then she threw some glitter on my face, and you know, then the strippers ran. But, uh, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it was all stalled to a screaming halt when they brought out the birthday cake and Danielle Staub popped out. <laughs> yeah, that, my thoughts exactly. I booted her ass out. Uh, then they said it was a joke and then I sort of felt bad. But uh, yeah. Then the real stripper came out. Miley Cyrus. Hey, don't judge me, mofo. Anyway, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of great stuff that we did. And one thing we did was a karaoke contest, which, of course, I won. Duh, winning. But, uh, I thought since not everyone could be at the celebration, I would give you a little recap of exact my performance. It went something a little like this. I will never say never. I will fight through whatever. Whenever you knock me down, I will not stay on the ground. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Never say never. Yeah, baby. That's how we roll. And that was the winning song. Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who pulled that off. Oh, and of course, I forgot to mention, this was, uh, was all headed off. This whole celebration, the host, was he came out of retirement for one night only. This man hasn't been seen since the late 90s, people. And he came out of retirement for one night to host my birthday celebration. We have the video footage. Check it out. That's right, peeps. That was the one and only Dream Finder. Thanks again for being the uh, master of ceremonies. So, as I said before, I would tell you the Babe of the Week is early. This week's Babe of the Week goes to one of the girls who tweeted me happy birthday. You know you get extra brownie points for that. You got it. Chelsea Hightower. Okay, now it's time for a new segment here on the A-List that I would like to call... Who is your daddy and what does he do? That's right, Arnold. And guess who is in this segment? You are. And guess why? One of us is in deep trouble. That's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger had a secret child with someone who worked for him. The child is like 10 now. Uh, so it's been going on for a long time. That's why Maria Schreiber and him have split. Um, that just came out this past week. Maria Schreiber didn't know about it, so Arnold, Arnold, you naughty little boy. So, um, yeah. You are the daddy, and that's what you do. 
some huge news that broke over this past week, and it's not an episode of Punked. Ashton Kutcher is replacing Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. Really? Well, now a lot of people have been commenting on this one. They've been saying if it's a good move, a bad move. I think Ashton Kutcher with this cast will work. Um, maybe it may not last 40 seasons or anything, you know, not, not that any show does. But you know what, I, I think it'll work for a while. Ashton Kutcher uh, seems like he would fit in well with this uh, show. But you can post your comment of what you think. The dogs are barking what they think. They like Ashton. So give me a comment about what you think about Ashton Kutcher taking over for Charlie Sheen. By the way, thanks for all the compliments lately. It's been nice not to give, have the Burger King come out here and flip everybody off. But anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, let's have Charlie sing one final swan song. I love movies, I love movies, I love movies, cause I'm a big kid. All right, we have some movie cast, casting news that happened this week. First up, we have some news on who will play the Lone Ranger. Yeah, it sounds like your mama last night. Anyway, <laughs> Army Hammer, who you may know from the Social Network film, is slated to play the Lone Ranger alongside Johnny Depp, who is playing Tonto. So, uh, sounds like a pretty cool movie. I, uh, I'd be very interested to check it out. So that is the Lone Ranger. Uh, next up... I just watched her in Blue Valentine, which you'll see a review next week. Michelle Williams has been cast as Glinda in the film The Oz, the Great, or Oz, the Great and Powerful. Ooh. Uh, I'm a little disappointed because I doubt Michelle will be showing her boobies. But, um, you know, I can live without a, I guess, I can live without some nudity from Michelle Williams. I can always go back to the other good movies, but <laughs> but I think Michelle Williams is a very good addition to the cast, whether Sam Raimi likes her or not. That was the rumor. Um, Sam Raimi, all I have to say is Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, for those of you who enjoyed the other guys, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg are going to be back together in another comedy. It's not a sequel. It is a new film called Turkey Bowl. And uh, it has to do with coming together at Thanksgiving and playing uh, football against each other and stuff like that. So definitely, I'll be psyched to see that one. I love those two and the other guys. And finally, for all you Thor fans out there, Chris Hemsworth has signed on to alongside Kristen Stort. So we can see... Oh, Chris Hemsworth, you have such good abs. You really work out. I love you. Um, and uh, <laughs> they, uh, she, uh, he has signed on for Snow White and the Huntsman. And no, he will not be playing Snow White. He will be playing the Huntsman. Go figure. Uh, although I would rather see him as Snow White, I think. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, he joins Kristen Stewart and Charlize Theron. Anyway, this brings us to this week's reality report. I came to play, baby, yeah. All right, well, this week we had another uh, episode of The Voice where the people went head to head. But Christina Aguilera, oh, all she can think about is me and the Iron Sausage, baby. Listen to her during the show. I'm dancing with the stars this week. Ralph Macchio waxed on and waxed off the stage as he was voted off. So your top three for the finale next week are Kirstie Alley, Chelsea Kane, and somebody else. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I literally have no idea who the other one is. So, oh, Heinz Ward, of course, with the injured Kim Johnson. Nice one, Wes. Anyway, you can tell I didn't watch it this week. 
<laughs> and uh, on American Idol this week, we found out who the top two will be competing on the finale next week. Scotty is through. And Lauren. So that means we had to say goodbye to Miss... You got me on my knees, baby. Darling, won't you please, baby. Miss Haley Reinhardt. That girl is the poster child for who should be seen and not heard. That brings us to this week's segment. Your favorite time and mine. It's time for the box office prediction. The B. Oh. P. Well, last week I said that Thor would be number one once again, and I was right a mundo. Really? Anyway, that makes me 86 and 26. Interesting. This week I have an easy pick once again. I say Thor falls off the top of the mountain and is replaced by Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. You can review, check out all my Pirates of the Caribbean reviews right here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. I did them all this week, except for the new one, of course. But I think Pirates of the Caribbean takes the number one spot at the box office. All right, peeps, don't miss one second of A-list action. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And of course, check out me and all my reviews at RottenTomatoes.com. So, peeps, till next week. Till then, troop out.